Hi guys, this is TabletNews.com and I'm here with the iPad Mini to show you a very cool game. It's a game that has just been launched. It's the long-awaited Angry Birds Star Wars HD version that we're testing on the iPad Mini. As you can see, it's an Angry Birds release that's themed with the famous Star Wars movies, games and various merchandise. As you may have figured out, the birds are the good characters and the pigs are the bad characters. So we'll explore Tatooine, the Death Star and we also purchased Path of the Jedi. You have to know that the game in this iPad HD version costs $3 but you can also get a 99 cents version for the iPhone and you have to buy this separate Path of the Jedi for $2. So let's get to it. We go into Tatooine, we have a various collection of movies that tell us the story from the movies, the Lucas the George Lucas movies. We got Darth Vader, we got Princess Leia, we also got Luke Skywalker as the Redbird. And this is Tatooine with the two sons. And this is Luke Skywalker at first in the game. But he doesn't has, uh, have much power. But then he'll get a lightsaber. We'll even go to Dagobah and get trained with uh, Yoda, you'll see that later on. But let's move on to fancier levels. These are cutscenes between the levels, this is where a new bird appears, it's a Jedi bird that has the ability to push stuff around, so check this out. It uses a special wave, a kinetic wave, to throw everything around, including pigs. And in case the level is too hard, you can always call the Millennium Falcon. You don't use the Mighty Eagle anymore, you just use the Millennium Falcon. As usual, you slingshot parts, you try to get 3 stars. There are lasers here. You have to pay attention. If they hit you, they'll make the world unavailable for attacking. And one more hit. And we're done. The levels are pretty varied, but to be frank, Tatooine is very easy. In total, there are, if you can believe it, over 120 levels to play. And if you don't believe me, let's check it out. Hope I'm not mistaken. So, on Tatooine, you can see for yourself that we actually have 40 levels right here. We've reached the last of them. On the Death Star, once again, we reach level 19, but we can go all the way up to 40, so 80 levels still now. And on the Path of the Jedi, on the Dagobah system, here we reach level 15, but we can once again go to 40. So 3 times 40, 120 levels, plus this bonus level with R2D2 and the likes. You even have the tiny R2D2 included here. And this golden egg, that's in fact the other robot, the golden one, which frankly I can't remember how it's uh, called. The little R2-D2 uses electric current to electrify the enemies, while this little guy, you'll see immediately what he does, he should explode or something like that. didn't quite work out. You can always try again. Let's try to electrify them again with R2-D2. And this time another route for this little fella. Anyway, these are the bonus levels and they're always a bit harder than the rest. You just saw him explode, so that's what he does. He cracks into pieces. These are the bonus levels. So, there are quite a bunch here as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 6 level here, another six, uh, another 5 here, so we have 11 levels, so a total of 131 levels in a single game. I say that's a pretty good bargain. And now we go to the Death Star. This is a pretty hard uh, collection of levels. Tatooine was very easy, while Death Star is pretty hard. As you can see, instead of the blue birds that used to break glass, you have little pilots, little rebel pilots that you'll use to destroy those space stations and hit the pigs, the stormtroopers, 
or the snout troopers as they're known here since they have snouts and they're pigs so it's easy you hit the space station it falls on the ground drags the snout trooper with it and kills everything in its path affected by the gravity of the big planet the music the characters everything reminds me of star wars and as i said you can even even use a lightsaber and you can use Han Solo, which is the yellow bird to shoot lasers. Just listen to the trademark sound of lasers, you'll actually love it. And now let's use the lightsaber. And it's time for another lightsaber. And here you can see a TIE fighter pig. Yet another trademark from Star Wars. And now Darth Vader with Daphotas. since we've lost the level. So it's actually a very very cool release, you have a lot of fun with it. And here's Path of the Jedi. You take it from the basic beginning, where you just met Yoda, you're in the jungle and you're trying to learn how to control your powers. The cool thing is that this uh, Dagobah levels will allow you to um, also involve a new ability, you see. There's a small and green Darth Vader that controls objects that are flying in the air, you have to take him down. So let's move on to that uh, Darth Vader thing. So, as you can see, this is the Darth Vader that's keeping things floating in air through his special powers. And if you hit him, he will no longer hold the objects in the air. But for that I need to strike him. And once I strike him, the objects will fall down and kill the other pigs. Some of them will still remain, but for that, that's Luke Skywalker and his sword. Moving on, the levels get more and more complex. You get more cutscenes and stuff like that. As you can see, the game is a combo between the regular Angry Birds and Angry Birds Space. Obviously, it happens in space, like, Angry, like uh, Star Wars. You have to calculate the orbit. And since I just killed the Darth Vader, the objects started falling since they were under his power. Didn't give it the best, so I'm going to show you an interesting gameplay feature here in the Death Star levels. You are based a lot on the reflection of lasers here. As you can see, there are turrets firing lasers and you have to throw your birds so that it, they'll intersect with lasers so trying it again it's pretty hard to get this one right, I tried this level a bunch of times that's why you have so many birds to use and let me show you another one here I actually called the Millennium Falcon since it was very hard to defeat one cool thing is that when the enemy is firing lasers, you can use a bird with a sword to deflect the lasers, just like in the movie. And Han Solo yet again, screaming and being a hero. I haven't reached Princess Leia yet, but in the future, maybe. So let's see another cutscene. This is when the Millennium Falcon enters the Death Star. It strikes to sneak in and it meets the turrets. Try this level. I've already seen it. Maybe go back to Tatooine, that I've already finished. If you want a spoiler, well, I can show you the final boss. It's basically your first rendezvous with a TIE Fighter. And it's not that hard of a battle, to be honest. Now I'm going to use my lightsaber. And I'm going to try and hit those snout troopers to have them fall on the planet and be absorbed by the gravity and get killed. So it's fairly easy. You shoot the bird from the slingshot, you tap the screen again and Luke will pull out his sword or Han Solo will use his pistol. And Tatooine is over here, of course, with a cutscene. 
You also have Chewbacca here. I'm going to show you what Chewbacca will do later on. Hopefully I have a level unlocked with him. And this is Chewbacca. This big fat bird is Chewy. And we use his brute force to take down the walls. And now I'm going to show you the Millennium Falcon. That's going to help me finish this level. And it's all done. Thanks to the Millennium Falcon. So once again 131 levels, you pay $3 for the iPad game, you pay another $2 for the Dagobah levels and you have a lot of fun with this update. Now let's give you another taste of lasers. Ok guys, this is it, Angry Birds Star Wars, tested at tabletnews.com on this beautiful iPad mini and we give it the grade 9.8 out of 10 because it's actually a bit expensive especially when you compare it to Android the folks who have Android get this game for free they only have to pay for the extra levels and we have to pay for more stuff so 9.8 out of 10 it's a very very nice update to the series you get to use lasers, you get to use weapons R2D2, Chewie and the rest of the gang so, tabletnews.com brought you Angry Bird Star Wars in a review on the iPad Mini. Bye bye.